Hi, my name's Ajax Dance Legend. Um, I'm at Field Day 2009 in the wonderful domain in Sydney, Australia, the world, the universe. You know, when you're a kid, it's like six degrees of separation when it comes to nicknames. So it went from Adrian to Ajax. That's how I got the name, pardon me. That's how I got the name Ajax. So it was like Adrian, AIDS, AJ, Age, Ajax. So I've had, I've been called Ajax since I was maybe 12 or something. And when I started DJing, I kind of went, oh, it was so early 90s and it had an X in it, like ecstasy. So I went, oh yeah, that sounds cool. The funny thing is for about the last six years, it sounded really bad, but it's actually starting to sound good again. It's starting to sound like retro. I'm just about to release some new material. So it's, I'm going to be now Ajax Dance Legend. And <laughs> even though I'm a wanker, it's meant to be a bit of a piss take on the whole 90s thing about dance mania, but also the way Australians say legend. Hey mate, you're a fucking legend. You know, that kind of thing. So um, it's a, an Australian play on a 90s um, UK house thing. Well, before I was a DJ, I was at art school for 10 years. I did, uh, wanker. I did um, two degrees. I was doing my masters by research and I got a scholarship and I spent all of it on like DJ and records and stuff. And then um, I actually dropped out halfway through my masters by research and they, they wanted me to pay it back. And I was like, oh, I'm sorry, but I've used that money and spent it on records. And, and they thought it was like an arty thing to do at the time in the mid nineties, there weren't that many DJs. So they're like, oh, well, at least you're taking one creative pursuit and turning it into another thing. So I never had to pay it back. I did this thing at, uh, when I was at uni, it's called professional practice. It's how about how you would become a professional artist in the art world. And they use me as an example of commitment because I was doing quite well. Um, like I won the painting prize and a few other things at uni and, um, and then I kind of just dropped out and I was with a gallery and they kind of dropped me. And they used me as an example of like, if you want to be a painter and artist, you got to do it for life. You can't just like do it till you're 25 and then be a DJ. But you know, the half the reason why I dropped out is because I found art philosophically so empty. It was so academic and so theory based and DJ is the complete opposite. It's so dumb and like, oh, and just, oh, I'm going to party. But you know what? It's good. It's really primal. And I like the honesty of it. So I sound like an art school student just saying that. But um, that's what I like about, I like the switch. On my 18th birthday, um, which is quite a long time ago, I'm not going to say my age, but I never heard dance music before. It was all rock and roll and grunge. And I had a party and, an, and this girl came into my house um, in Narrabeen and she put on Pump Up The Jam. And I was like, what the hell is this? I was like, um, and ever since then I was like hooked. I also bought a club in Melbourne as well. So I've been busy outside of just DJing and producing. Like, we're still doing the record label, we just signed three new artists.